Hi everyone, all the HSA and HSST aspirants, how are you? Yes, to kill two birds with one stone. I think you, you have heard about this idiom. I am here today to discuss a beautiful world famous novel, The God of Small Things. Yes, as you know, this is a very popular novel and we can see in our HSA English syllabus and HSST syllabus as well. So today I thought to create a video on this novel, this popular novel written by Susanna Arundhati Roy and mainly I am focusing about the author and the main characters and the story plot. Definitely it will help you for your study. So let's get started. Susanna Arundhati Roy is an Indian novelist, activist and essayist born in Shillong, Meghalaya. She is best known for her novel, The God of Small Things. And her major works, The God of Small Things, The End of Imagination, The Cost of Living, The Algebra of Infinite Justice, The Great Common Good. Alright, now let's see about the novel in detail. It is her semi-autobiographical debut novel published in 1997 so 1997 don't forget the year and setting actually the village of Aymanam Kottayam district the main setting of this novel is a village of Aymanam Kottayam district in Kerala received in 1997 she received Booker Prize for this fiction published by Indian Inc. the major themes of this novel the caste system and social discrimination, women's position in the patriarchal society. And uh, it is dedicated to her mother, Mary Roy. It has 21 chapters. The main part of the plot takes place in 1961. And the temporal setting shifts back and forth from 1969 when the twins are seven years old to 1993 when the twins are reunited at the age of 31, at the end of the novel. The novel is the story about the childhood experience of a fraternal twins, Esther and Raphael, and the sorry condition of their mother, Amu, the pathetic condition of their mother, Amu. The book is a description of how the small things in life affects people's behavior and their lives. Now let us go through the main characters. I think when you just listen these characters and their main features from this novel, you will get an idea about the entire idea about this novel. So one of the main protagonists of this novel is Ammu, protagonist, daughter of Papachi and Mamachi, mother of Raphael and Esther, the main characters, Raphael and Esther, married to Baba, a tea plantation manager from Calcutta, to get away from her family. Baba was a drunkard and a liar who tortured her much. Thus she divorced him and returned to Aymanam with children Raphael and Esther at their seventh age. In connection with the ba Babu's behavior, Ammu's husband, actually one day Babu loses his job uh, but his English boss says he will work something out, of for, out for him uh, when if Baba will let him sleep with Ammu. So Baba rents this indecent proposal by Ammu and uh, she refused it and what happened uh, followed by that uh, incident Ammu takes the kids and moves back to Aymanam. So that it's for our backstory. And uh, she had an affair with Velutha, an untouchable carpenter. So here the caste system, it is very clearly mentioned through the character Velutha and Ammu had an affair with Velutha, an untouchable or uh, low caste person. And the, this disastrous relationship is the main event in the novel. And she dies at the age of 31 in Alapi. She is the victim of male domination in Aymanam. Okay, dear listeners. Actually, here, Velutha had an illicit relationship with uh, Amu. This relationship uh, that led the story into different level. So, uh, if you get time to read the entire novel, that definitely 
you know helpful and as you know we have uh, the trans the malayalam translation an english to malayalam translation of this novel uh, that's so you can read in malayalam too okay so here we have rahil ammu's daughter bold and rebellious as ammu uh, partial narrator of the story esther's younger one her hair sits on the top of her like a fountain she wears a red tinted plastic sunglasses with yellow rims goes from school to school and leads a miserable life she has a love affair with larry mac caslin an american and they got married and lived in boston but split up soon rahel works as a waitress in an indian restaurant in new york and she returns to aymanam at last Okay now next character Esta Estapen Yako Amu's son Rahel's twin brother submissive and nervous child and the silent one in the novel he is referred to as a fish out of the water he wears beige and pointy shoes he was chosen by baby Kochamma to go to Velutha's cell so there was an incident that actually volatta was uh, innocent but unfortunately as he was you know from a low caste and baby kochamma uh, one of the aunt from uh, this uh, esta uh, she tried to convince that volatta is the uh, that killer of uh, sof uh, that uh, sofi mall here in the story he can't decide what surname he has to use thus he uses estapan unknown An orange drink lemon drink man a vendor molest him at the theater Next character Chaco Amu's brother 4 years elder than her goes to Oxford for study marries Margaret Kochamma as an English lady and later they divorce Chaco takes the control of Aymanam house after after his father's death He is a selfish man and doesn't give a most share. He runs a pickle factory. Their 8 years daughter Sophie Mol drowns in the river and dies. Well, let us discuss the next character Velutha. An untouchable paravan carpenter for Ibe's family pickle factory. Exceptionally smart. His name means white in color in malayalam he comes to aymanam to help his father valya papan is an active member of the marxist communist party he was kind to the twins rahel and esta he has also an illicit relationship with ammu he was blamed for the crime of sovi mol's death arrested tortured and finally dies in the cell after conversion his family was known as paravan christian vulathas paralyzed brother is kuttappan next character baby kochamma papachi's younger sister ammu's aunt the twins maternal great aunt spinster 83 years old when the novel begins the wicked character in the novel she has the attitude of superiority due to her education as a gardener designer at Rochester University US she wrote letters from US in the name of Kohinoor she was in love with an Irish monk father Mulligan but her love was not reciprocated father mulligan later becomes the follower of god vishnu next character papachi ammu and chako's father a retired director of entomology imperial entomologist a disappointed man who often quarrels with his wife and tortures amu 
He even beats his wife with a brass vase and tears Amu's shoe into pieces. He denied Amu higher education and sent Chaco to Oxford. So it shows the patriarchal society, the concept or the perspective. Or it shows the patriarchal perspective on women. His wife is Mamachi. His father was father reverend Ai. His sister was baby Kochama. He dies in 1969. Mamachi, next character, Mamachi, Amu's mother, she becomes blind in 1969 and she owns the pickle factory, Paradise Pickles and Preserves. Another minor character here, Valya Papan, Valutha's father, an untouchable with a glass eye that the Ives paid for. Kochumaria, next minor character, servant of Aymanam house. She likes to watch wrestling on TV. Next one, Comrade Play, Communist Party leader in Aymanam. The last one who sees Valutha before the police beat him. His son's name is Lenin. Another minor characters are Mr. Holik, Baba's boss at the Assam estate. Murali Dharan, a homeless, insane person. Inspector Thomas Matthew, police officer who tortures Volutha. And Sophie Moll. Sophie Moll is the daughter of Chaco and Margaret Kochama. She dies by drowning in the water. More facts on this novel. Ammu in the novel is the counterpart of Arundhati Roy's mother and Rahel is herself. Main part of the plot takes place in the year. 1969. The fraternal twins in the novel are Rahel and Estefan Yako. The temporal setting of this novel shifts back and forth from 1969 to 1993. The twins are seven years old when the story begins. Amu dies and the twins are reunited at the age of 31. Papachi was the retired director of entomology. Papachi used to beat his wife with brass vase. Papachi's father, father's name was Father Reverend John Ive. Chaco was sent to Balliol College, Oxford for his higher studies. Margaret Kochama's second husband was Joe, a biologist. Joe later died in an accident while Margaret was working as a school teacher. Bobby Kochama falls in love with Father Mulligan, an Irish monk. Baby Kochama studied garden designing from Rochester University, US. Uh, Baby Kochama converted herself to Catholicism to get Mulligan, though her father belonged to Marthoma Church. The real communist leader mentioned in the novel was EMS. Baby Kochama is the maternal great aunt of twins. Rahel is more rebellious of the twins. Rahel is the partial narrator in the novel. Rahel wears plastic sunglass with yellow ring in this novel. Full name of Esther was Estepan Yako. Yesta uses the surname Estepan unknown. Voluta was arrested by blaming the crime of Sophie's small death, beaten up by the police and died in the cell. Voluta's grandpa's name was Kalen. Baby Kochama went to Madras to join a convent to meet Mulligan. Baby Kochama was a constant watcher of TV programs. When Chaco meets her, Margaret was a waitress in a hotel. Amu was denied higher education as she was a girl. Baby Kochama is 83 when we meet her in this novel. Before returning to Kerala when his father died, Chaco was a lecturer in Madras. The small things referred to this novel are Amu and her children. 
velutha and so on who are poor and have no money and power the police officer thomas matthew addresses amus as vesia prostitute the river mentioned in the novel is meenachilar chako says to amu what is yours is mine and what is mine is mine the name of pickle factory is paradise pickles and preserves the boat was collided by hitting a log and sophie mall died of drowning baby kochamma convinces estha to save ammu by telling police that velutha killed sophie mall the twins are separated for 23 years during which estha stopped speaking altogether the history house was an abandoned home of an english man who went native the history house has now become a five star hotel rahel and estha uh, shift through some old trinkets and notebooks and end reaffirming their closeness by having sex the name of the film watched by ammu's family was the sound of music from abilashk theater the story of the novel moves in rahel and ammu's perspective ammu screams that the twins are millstones around her neck when they visited her in a locked room for more videos on hsa hsst english make sure your subscription to this channel if you want to learn more on please click the subscription and the bell icon and let's grow together thank you